Hello. How are you? Sheep came to us last time. We are looking forward to someone helping sheep today. So, do you want to go on a story trip right now? Sun came to Earth and said, Earth, Earth, I found out. I have a friend who can help sheep. The friend is called human. Shall we cry out loud? Earth answered, Uh, people? What kind of a friend is it? I am really looking forward to it. Let's call. The two of them shouted together. Human! Human! Who will be friends with us all? Come to us! Come to us! Then there was a friend who came to sheep a little later. It was a little boy. The child came close to the sheep and said, Oh, you cannot see. Do not worry about it. I'll be your eyes in the future. Let's look around every corner of the field and outside the field. Let's try to draw a boy who appears in the story. It was a story talking about a sheep. Because we drew the sheep last time, I will only draw a human. The materials are paper and crayons. Draw the face with a circle first. Draw the face round first. And then I'll draw the head shape here. As you do this, it looks like a boy's head. And draw a neck with a small square. And from the shoulders, like this, draw the arms coming down. And please draw some lines and divide the middle body and the arms. This would be a standing up straight posture, right? And draw ears as small circles next to the face. Then draw the face first. I'm trying to draw an expression on it. So, color the face, ears, and neck in an apricot. Then, I'll color his hair brown. You can color with your favorite hair color. it would be fun to color the hair and face with the colors that you and your friends want to. I'll color the hair like this. And I'll draw the face with pink. Smiling eyes, nose, and mouth. If you put roses on the cheeks, that would be pretty. color the clothes. Now, I want to color the arms in dark orange first. Think about what color you'd like. Why don't you color the clothes in colors you like? Then the body. I'm going to color the body in purple.
even the clothes. It's so pretty to color with one color. It looks more beautiful with many colors. Especially in pictures, the more colors you use, the more gorgeous it is. I colored the inside in purple. And I'll color one arm pink. Yes, all the clothes are all colored. Now, isn't it a little boring here? I'd like you to draw what you want to draw around the boy. I'll try to draw a heart shape. Let's draw hearts. It's like this. Round shape, the upper parts are rounded. I draw a little sharp point on the bottom. Draw the opposite side round too. The bottom is like this. So the bottom is pointed. You can even color this heart. But you don't have to paint it. You can do it as you like. I'll try another heart. And a little smaller heart. Another little bigger heart. And a small heart. And a big blue heart. And brown. Purple. And pink, too. Hearts like this. Since I tried to draw several hearts, this boy looks very happy. Yes. And the background has rounded. Did you draw clouds with this shape? These lines come and go. I want to fill it up. I think we can express the joy of this boy better. So express your joyful heart in the background. It's better than nothing. If you express this joyful mind with these lines, the picture becomes more wonderful. Yes, it's finished! Friends, how was your class today? We've drawn a person for the first time today. So don't think it's too difficult. If you think that this is a person, then it will be a person. Then I will look forward to next time when we are going to meet again. Bye!